good one. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. All right, yeah, two o'clock. Good afternoon, Mr. Butler. Well, hang, on. hang on, hang on. I gotta tell you, what, what are the two sexiest animals in the barnyard? I have no idea. A brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> You're not gonna read that in Boy's Life. So I was just walking by the office. Yeah. And I thought I'd stop in and see about the sales rep yeah. job. Oh yeah. Was gonna yeah. What's your name, son? What's your name? Marcus. Marcus Butler. I've Butler. actually been here a couple of times. Okay, Butler. Butler. Yeah. 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 So, what can I do for you, Mr. Butler? I just wanted to know how the interviews went. The interviews were phenomenal. Great. You should have been there. Great. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, we had some real Cracker Jack kids come through here. Four of them we really liked, and the other, uh, we, we, had, we had to keep two of them. They both believe in the six Ps. Six Ps? Yep, six Ps. Prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Great. That's the mantra here. Great. Uh, Mr. Butler. So then that's it. Yeah, yeah. Did you want me to keep your resume on file? Why would you do that? Seen that smoking monkey on the YouTube? Uh, a little bit of it. Yeah. Oh, that's the third time today. The bitch. Don't you shut up? Go, 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 Keep on walking, but I will get the guitar back. Marcus! Dish, how'd it go in there? Fantastic. <laughs> so you got the job, congratulations. Absolutely not. Yeah, you know what, screw it. Jobs are for chumps anyway. Besides, with this tie on, you look like a child molester. <laughs> well, you look like the guy who hustles paint behind the 7-Eleven. Oh, okay. And not all of us are as lucky as you as to get beaten to the head by a fly ball from a Cubs player. Wait a second. Rick Sanchez is not just any Cubs player. He was a very promising rookie until his whole lawsuit thing. How was he to know that my Uncle Tony was the most ballin' ass personal injury claims lawyer in the whole state of Illinois? So you ruined his entire career so that you could spend the rest of your life without working. I didn't ruin his career, he did. He was really good at hockey in junior high. Had he stuck with that career path, he wouldn't be in this debacle. Didn't he go crazy? Yeah, he did go crazy, but that has nothing to do with me, man. Look, I didn't make him leave his family or rob that bank, okay? We all have free will, Marcus. And right now, my free will is telling us we need cheeseburgers. This one's on me, Jobless Joe. The only reason I accept these free meals from you is because I know that it's not really your money. I just pretend like you're on special welfare for man children. Blah, 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 Mark. Don't give me one of your boring lectures. Why are you having such a hard time finding a job? I thought you've been working your entire life. The only reason I've been working my entire life is because my dad owned that warehouse. After my first birthday, he took the bottle of milk out of my hands and inserted a mop. There were training wheels on the floor buffer. I've never even cashed a fucking paycheck. My mom used to put my weekly earnings under my pillow like the goddamn tooth fairy. Kind of like what Rick Sanchez does for me with a lot more money. And a lot less kissing. Rick was always a tender lover until he caught his wife cheating on him in 96. Broke his spirit after that. The amount of things you know about that man really creeps me out. Wouldn't you like to know where your money comes from? Oh shit, that reminds me. Rent is due in two days. How am I gonna get the money? I would help you, but I already spent most of my monthly stipend from Papa Sanchez on a giant inflatable castle. Is it one with a ball pit? No, just standard. Sensible. No, I need to take care of this on my own. Well, you're always welcome to come jump around my castle. I appreciate the sentiment. Did you run me by an ATM? I gotta get whatever cash I have left. I wonder if I could apply for food stamps or something. Yeah, I gotta pick my cousin Marty up from work anyway. How do you even get food stamps? I need to get my ass to the ATL. What are food stamps?
out here, fuckers? Hey, Marty. Yo, what's going on, cuz? Not much, man. Just watched roadies build the set for the Rush concert tomorrow night. But what, you watch like six guys mullets hang a 40-foot maple leaf flag? Dude, I don't know. Look more like 60 meters to me. <laughs> Get it? Because it's the metric system. Those Canadians seriously know how to rock. Rush puts on a live act that is incomparable to any other band touring today. Rush sucks. Hey, fuck you, Butler. Hey, don't don't mind him, Marty. He's all pissy because he's poor again. I thought you were getting a job at that lame-ass office. Yeah, the bastard's already filled the position. I don't even have the money to pay my rent this month. Dude, can't Rick pay for that? No, he already spent most of his monthly stipend. What'd you spend all that money on, Pete? One of those giant inflatable castles. Like at all those birthday parties when we were kids? Just Dude, that is... Awesome! Yeah, it is. Up top. Oh, no, pump it, guys. Pump it, guys. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Pump it. Pump it. Pump it. Hey, a holes. What? I have a serious problem here, guys. I need to get the money to pay my rent, and I'm not going back to working at my dad's warehouse. Okay, okay. Let me think. Okay, I have this friend of mine who is always looking for people to do these uh, jobs for him. You have a friend who can give me a job. How much does it pay? Uh, I wouldn't call him a friend. I call him more of an acquaintance. But he pays really well, like 500 bucks a pop. If he pays so much for these jobs, why aren't you working for him? Dude, this place rules. Journey tickets, 40 bucks. Van Halen tickets, 60 bucks. The almighty Rush tickets, 130 bucks. And I get to see all of those timeless acts front row. Plus, I get to work with all these awesome guys. What the fuck are you looking at? See you guys Monday. Fuck you. Rush! Tomorrow! It's gonna be wild, dude! Uh, I think we should get in the car, Marty. Really? God, I'm gonna fucking kill that kid. Say it to my face! Go, man, go! Aw, oh, shit! We gotta go to my girlfriend! Damn, Damn it, Marty! Marty. Around. No, no, okay, yeah, that's it. Give him out the cookie. Look at this asshole. Dude. Really, really fun. Marty Gilbert, I've been waiting for 20 minutes. What took you so long? No time for chit chat, baby. I'm putting that medicine. What the fuck are you talking Shh. about? Mm. Yeah, baby, let's go inside. I can't believe Marty's girlfriend is so hot. I personally can't believe Marty has a girlfriend at all. It's like we're on the ice planet Hoth, man. Find me a Tauntaun, I'll slice that thing open, we'll live inside it for a year and a half. So, what do you think they're doing in there? Uh... Marty said cat, and then he said iguana, and knowing Marty... Private sex for about four minutes and 38 seconds. Seriously, just happened. He's got the Gil Martin charm. So is a fucking ashtray. Hey, it's a family name, man. Think about quitting smoking. Crank gives me something smoking. So, Marty, tell me more about these jobs. What are they like? It's mostly just delivering packages. Shifty thinks that the Postal Service is a secret government organization designed to keep an eye on immigrants. I mean, that's what he says. So, do these packages have, like, names or addresses or anything like that on them? Nope. Just plain brown boxes. They always go to the same place. Little Zvignev's Burger Joint. I love Little Zvignev's. You can substitute pierogies for french fries there. Yeah, man, and they got fountain soda. Fountain soda. All right, so you take the packages from the man named Shifty, mm -hmm. and then you deliver them to Little Zvigneb's burger joint, and he pays you $500 for that. Yeah, man, I'm sure he'd let you fill in for me. Are you sure, man? I don't want to be horning in on your action or anything like that. Hey, ain't no thing. 
can I say something? Just like a quick, just a little blurb from me? Yeah. Feel free, Pete. Uh, Mark, this is so out of character for you. Shifty's one fucked up individual. And I can't believe that you would even consider doing a job with Marty. No offense, Marty. Yeah, it's a living. I'm gonna come with you, because this could end up getting really messy. Besides, the last fight I remember you and you got beat with an extension cord for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, man, that was the best 4th of July ever. Fine, Peter, you can come too. But that was not a fair fight. I'm gonna come too. Yeah! Doesn't that defeat the purpose of me doing it? Hey, you don't know Shifty. And besides, I don't want you going chicken shit on me like you did in the great extension cord fight in 98. These jobs make me a lot of cheddar. Fine, but I'm at least carrying the package because I want to have some role in the acquisition of my rent money. Go around, stink bait! So, when can you give this guy a call? Shifty! Hey, it's me, Marty. No, Marty. Marty! No, I'm Marty! Yeah, buddy, Marty. How you doing? Cool, cool. Hey, I just wanted to know if you had any jobs that you needed to get done. Okay. All right, awesome. Be there in 10. Well, that was quick, Marty. Where the hell are we going? 10th and post. Shifty lives around that area. All right, put your fucking hand down. Serve me up a plate of shit nachos. Where'd you meet this guy, Marty? Uh, the aquarium, actually. Remember that time? Remember when I was on, like, the big aquarium kick? When that's, like, all I did? Yeah, you were pretty into aquariums. When man. I was, yeah, I was, I was living in an aquarium. You lived in an aquarium? Yeah, I mean, just for a couple months. Hey, guys, uh, I think we should wait outside. Don't be ridiculous. Shifty's generally a nice guy. Yeah, he looks real nice. I know some nice guys. Their houses look nice. He looks like an axe murderer. Who the fuck are you people? Is that a power drill? Hey, man, how you doing? I told you to never bring anyone to my house, Marty. Shifty, I'm sorry. You know, it's just my cousin and our friend. And that big I don't care if it's the fucking Pope. Keep your low-life fucking friends away from me and my family. Sorry, Shifty. Won't happen again. Sure as shit. Better not. Package is right there on the coffee table. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong again. Man, there are literally like a dozen packages on the table. It's the first one. I'll just take this to uh, Zvignev and he'll have the money like usual, huh? Not this time. Zvignev's not around. So you're taking this package somewhere new. Somewhere new? There's the fucking directions. Now you better not fuck me, Gilmartin. You fucked me in the past. Now this is the most important errand I've put you on. It's a little bit more difficult than normal. So I'm doubling your profit. Coincidentally, that means you're gonna have to keep double quiet. Hey, yo, I think I can do that. That means you and your fucking inbred Gil Martin cousin better not dick around and get yourself shot. I don't know the other guy you're around with, but if he's running around with you, then he's probably a big pile of flaming shit. Hey Pete, check this out. I'm Rick Sanchez. Oh shit, my career's ruined! Hey, you're a jerk. Now you got one hour to deliver that package, or else my guys are coming after you. You understand? Yeah, I crystal clear, Shifty. Good. Yeah, time starts... Now! Move it, dumbass! So what the deal is, Marty? We gonna get us some pierogies or what? Would you be quiet, man? I don't exactly feel comfortable talking about this in public. Wow, we a full one! 
Yeah, I think it'd be safer in the car. Yeah. Hey, you guys want to go halfsies? No. Hey, listen, I got a question for you. I no. need to ride about 20 miles down the road. You guys want to help me out? I got a pocket full of these things. Let's go. No. Nope. Why not? Uh, we have to, uh, there's a thing at the place, so. Yeah, um, community theater or something like that. Hey, we'll see you later, Rat Pack, all right? What show are you guys doing at community theater? Missions changed. We're not going to Little Zvignevs anymore. Shifty said it's a special assignment. We're taking them someplace new. We have to be there in an hour, and I got the directions right here in this envelope. All right, I'm just hey. going to check this to see if the directions are someplace I'm familiar with. Uh, probably not, Mark. You're not from around here. Give Marty the directions. No offense, Marty, but I think I'm gonna take the reins on this one, all right? It's my rent money that we're getting, and I want to have some role in the acquisition of it. There are so many people that I hate. Mark Butler is the worst one. You know, that's a really good song. Thanks. You should go fuck yourself. Aw, oh, you dick! Not that big a deal. We can just put the two halves together. Over Here, my please. dead body, Give Mr. Give it to me, you little prick. You're a fucker. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, oh, oh. Marty, you are an idiot. Sorry, sorry guys, I just blacked out for a second. I don't know what just happened. Nobody in the history of the world, nay, in all of existence, has ever eaten directions and blacked out. Marty, you're blood, but you're really starting to piss me off. You're supposed to know how to handle these kind of situations, and you just ate the goddamn directions. So either we wait for you to shit them out, and piece them together with some airplane glue, or we need to figure out how the fuck we're gonna get some more directions. I love all right, all right. airplane glue. Shut the fuck up. Man, I can't believe we're going to his address instead of my address. Dude, of course we're going to my address. Hey guys, let's not fight and point fingers. The point is we're here and we're getting Mark some rent money. Yeah, we don't want you to eat the damn thing on the way up to the house. Fine. I just hope you guys don't get greeted by, like, a dude who, like, owns Rottweilers or something like that. Give him the package. By all means. Roll the dice, boy Marty's Marty's kind of handicapped. I know. You ready? How can I help you, boys? We have the package. Your holiness. Package? What package? From Shifty. Father. I don't know any Shifty. You dumb motherfuckers! I knew you got it wrong! You ate the directions, you ignorant bag of shit! Show some respect, Marty! It's a fucking priest! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, who are you people? Apparently we have the wrong house. A, a thousand blessings. Get off my porch before I call the cops. Okay, I'm gonna go, but I'm genuflecting, just so you know, you, I respect you. You stupid little asshole. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in this mess right now. Oh, so this is my fault. You were the one who came to us begging for job ideas. This is how I makes money. I can't believe I finally let you guys get me involved in the stupid, depraved shit you do. Why are you throwing me into this? I've never been so desperate for money that I've had to run around town delivering strange packages. I'm here to make sure that you're okay, Mark. Of course you haven't. You're Rick Sanchez's sugar daddies, paid for everything since you were nine. You leave Rick Sanchez out of this, okay? If he didn't want to be sued so bad, he shouldn't have joined the Cubs. What the fuck are you talking about? Had he been a White Sox player, I would have kept the ball and the black eye as a souvenir. I'll bet your mom and dad are real upset that they had sex with their brother and sister. Oh, get fucked, Mark. Hey, uh, guys, what time is it? Get, get fucked, fucked, Marty! Dudes, what time is it? Well, if you must know, ah. it's 7.15. Because this is no big deal, but Shifty told me, and remember, no big deal, that uh, if we don't get this done in an hour, he's going to send his guys after us. <laughs> That's great. That's great.
Come here. I really want to murder you right now, but I won't because you're family. You're blood. Our grandparents had sex and made both of our dads, which for some odd reason makes it wrong for me to kill you right now. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go back to my house, assuming it's not on fire. Mark's going to put on a pot of tea, and you're going to sort this shit out with Shifty. Okay, now let's go. All right, now that we're calm, we need to find out what the hell we're going to do. Here it is. You know, it's always in the last place you look. You haven't had your phone turned on this entire time? No, see, Shifty's got this thing when you go to his house, you turn off your phone because he thinks, like, all the satellites are watching you. Oh, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. He could have been trying to call us this whole time. Hey, it's cool, it's cool. I got a voicemail. Hold on. Tomorrow or something? No. No, not that bad, but pretty bad, yeah. Hey, Marty, it's me. Word on the street is my package never got delivered. Hours up, asshole. You're a dead man, Gil Martin. Hey, at least you didn't say anything about us. You, your squirrely ass cousin, and that gay guy you came by here with earlier. You're all fucking worm food. I'm not gay. You guys think I'm gay? It's my pants, isn't it? Shut the fuck up, Martin. My mom gave me these pants. No, I made out with your sister that one. Shut month. the fuck up, Mark! Dude, seriously? Like, everyone made out with my sister. And this is, like, huge! He, like, I think he put, like, a hit out on us or something. Mark, will you please get the door? You know I hate my neighbors. I'm not in the mood. Tell them I'll trim my shrubs when they burn in hell. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Where is package, you little shits? Eat me, Angelo! Oh, it disappoints me to see you Gil Martin fuck so rude. But it doesn't surprise me either. There are your manners. Man, we are not telling you anything. <laughs> oh! Ow! You alright, man? No! <laughs> oh! Yeah, me too. But if you would be so kind as to let us know where package is, we'll be on our merry way. Marty, <laughs> at this point, I don't even care anymore. Just give him the package. Man, I gave the package to you before we went into that priest's house. No, you fucking idiot. You gave it to Mark. Oh. <laughs> well, who has goddamn package? You two are Liberace over there. Jesus, Angelo, we're trying to figure it out. Just... Just give us a goddamn minute, please! Uh, shit, I must have left the package on the priest's front porch when I was flexing for him! Aw, oh, shit! You three have got to be about the worst fucking people on the planet! I guess we got to walk them after all. <laughs> well, you don't have to- uh. 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 What the fuck?! Damn, Mark! You just molly these guys! Yeah, man, you had LAPD on their asses! I mean, we totally had them! We were no, about yeah. to kick their I, ass! No, I was waiting, I was waiting for them to get all tired, and then I was just gonna, like, like, one shot Yeah, he, he did karate for, like, six years when we were in junior yeah, high. Yeah, the YMCA. Yeah, the lamp. Uh, uh, hold on. No, but yeah, I'm you had a lamp, a, and that was cool, but I'm you kind of fucked a, it up for I us. I am oh, getting a, a phone call. Oh, pretty cool. Your nose looks really messed up, yeah, dude. As long Hello, as this is Marty Gil Martin no, speaking. Yeah. The guy who I didn't get his ass kicked. I'm coming for you, Martin Gil Martin. I 
know I sent Angelo and Travis, but I just wanted to make a personal appearance. Kind of like quality control. Well, any chance you could let me know where you are? Can I take a message? Do you need directions? Request? Marty, you wouldn't be trying to outsmart me, would you? I know your tiny brain can't process this, but I'm coming after you, and there's no way around it this time. You fucked me too many times, and now I'm going to erase my Marty problem. Tell your friends to go home. You're the only one I'm after now. Aw, oh, that was shifty. He said, he said he was coming here right now. He's gonna kill us. Did he say us? Yeah. Yeah, no, he said, he said, make sure your two, your cousin and his friend are there. Cause I'm gonna kill him too. He sounded crazy. It was terrifying. Like he sounded like he had like the hunger. All right, well, what the oh. fuck are we talking for? Let's tie these guys up and get out of here. He knows where I live. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Man, where'd all the snow go? Dude, Al Gore has been talking about this for years. Yeah, let's... what's that called? Something. Like global. Global well, it starts with an H. Global, 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 global,
Yeah. Second of all, you need to tell us what you know about little Zvignev. Man, all I know is that he runs the racket around here, that this is his hangout. You know, typically you don't give any good information or add anything useful to any situation ever. But right now, I'm not going to stop at you for opening your mouth. Smart. No problem, buddy. You guys remember my friend that turned his car into a snow machine? That was awesome! No, I rigged it up so that it made snow cones, and you could I don't think that was the Four Tempo's original purpose, though. You don't know anything about the Four Tempo. Table for three? Uh, actually, we have a 315 with little Zvignev. Oh, okay. Right this way. Uh, Zvignev, you asked us to come here and, uh, have a meeting? Marty, I know you, and I've heard about your cousin being here. But who in the hell is this fruitcake? See guys, everyone we've met today thinks I'm gay. It's just like in junior high. Just because I have a healthy sense of dance and fashion does not mean I'm a homosexual. Relax, puta. You want some goulash? Perhaps a cupcake. Uh, actually, we just kind of want to know why you brought us here, Zvignev. Straight to the point. I like that. I brought you here to let you know that it was I who took care of your little miss. You go back to the shed, you'll find that the extra bodies have been removed. Also, I wanted to thank you. Thank us? Yes, thank you. I've been trying to whack Shifty now for weeks, but I keep assigning Angelo and Travis to the job, and the two of them just keep skimming off the top like a couple of freaking parasites. I, oh, I mean, just thank you for Shifty. I took care of Angelo and Travis myself. So we're not in any trouble? None whatsoever. Oh, it's real simple, boys. You stay away from my operation, and you're in the clear. Wow, that is surprisingly easy. Now get out of my restaurant before I change my mind. <laughs> Wait, hold on. How'd you know it was us the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> Freaking criminals I've ever seen. It's like trying to follow around Hansel and Gretel with the little breadcrumbs. And you, you just you have your cigarettes and your blood and you're so loud. It's like I'm in a discotheque trying to find a transgender male. You do me a big favor getting rather shifty. No arm, no foul, boys. Have a nice day. <clears throat> what about the package? Package. Take it. Call it a gift. All right, dynamite. Cool. See ya, Thanks, yep. man. The bye forever, Zignep. Hey, let's uh, let's go get that package. I like your style. I'm just excited as you are, Mark. I just kind of want to get clean. I want it to end. Hello? Excuse us again, Father. Um, do you still have that package that we dropped off here a few days ago? Why, yes, thank you, my sons. We thought we were gonna have to shut the orphanage down, but thanks to your gift, we'll be open another five years. I didn't realize the gift you were trying to give me. Praise the Lord. Um... Could you refresh our memories? Uh, what exactly was in the package, Father? Oh, don't be so humble. A hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money. Thank you once again. Sorry I was so rude yesterday. Um, everything's forgiven. But could you put in a good word for us with the man upstairs? Don't worry about it. Through absolution, all sins are forgiven. Thank you, Father. You have got to be fucking kidding me. 